Hello and welcome back to Dr. Plumber Transport Fever number two. I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. I am recording this in sequence and I have stuff to do and I really shouldn't be doing it. But you know what? When you have fun, you really need to make it pay. So, um, especially these days, um, we are having fun because uh, we're making money and we're actually doing quite well. I'm quickly going to save the game. Save, let's play, yes, yes, yes. Right, so we have changed our goods line already. And this might well be early. This might well cost us quite a bit because if this train doesn't start running a profit in a bit, then I've got a problem. So we're going to see what that is going to do, but we're going to leave it to run up and down a few times. Um, I was thinking that it could do with picking up these tools that it's now creating. So it's using them up because we've got a little truck, and it is a very little truck. Look at that poor little dinky. Oh, after all the power of the trains and things we've got, Landauer to me is literally a land pusher pushing over this enormous incline i mean you have to admit this is like who thought that this was uh it's a flat right yeah um anyway we've got that little dinky picking up tools but i'd much rather have these very flush plush toys end up in daventer and well that you've guessed it means work in daventer and it's not going to be very pretty um no, it's, it's in fact it's going to what is that abomination oh i put that yeah okay it's going to cost a few people their livelihoods because this is industry buildings um i'm definitely gonna pay the price unless we build a separate freight station that might well be an option. That might well be an option. And separate it out straight away. Because all the industry is already on this side and the commercial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like thinking that. It means running two stations which cost more money. But, you know, we're flush, we're flush. We don't need to worry about that. So, we are going to have two stations. Um, where do I want to build it? I don't know. I keep having to look around the microphone because I keep pressing the wrong key to use the turn. I don't know why they couldn't have just done a press middle mouse and... Oh, that's... Uh, anyway. Um, I think it might fit nicely there. Because if we connect it here... It's not going to get everything. But these are the guys that want the tools. You know what? I think that's a good space. Because we're going to make it longer anyway, than we can. That's expensive. Problem is, if you build a very expensive station, you have to maintain it as well. And it's got to be worth the money. But the main reason for doing this as well, by the way, uh, is to separate out the traffic from the station straight away. So, when I've built that, I may well build a separate train line into the tools factory that doesn't touch on the passengers factory at all. Rather than doubling up the track here, and I realize I'm using a station as a pointer, you'll have to forgive me, but rather than doubling up this track and putting pressure on it, and I, I might, well, I'm going to redesign really anyway, but later on I'll probably want to run two or three passenger trains on there as a minimum. So, I don't want to add a good strain into that. Um, so yeah, I, I actually think this makes a lot of sense, um, and I'm going to go for it, because I like the idea. We're first going to build a street there. We're just completing the work that the fillers didn't do. I don't need to delete that by hand. We are going to buildings, we're in streets, we need to be here. Now, look at this beauty. I think that's all. Smashing, dashing. That's actually catching a bit of the brick industry anyway. We can add another street connection. Actually, if we move it here. Yeah. Yes, yes. We can then 
figure this to have another street connection. Um, I don't think the side buildings do that. Ah, oh, that's a pain. They do do it, but it doesn't fit. Why does that not fit here? If I literally built this on the wrong angle, I probably have. So, sorry. That's cost me a lot of money. Um, uh, this bit drives me nuts. I don't understand why it can't be a straight tool uh, application. We'll give it a bit more room. Because it's so bloody finicky. Yeah, that's cost me lots of money. Who cares? That's a bit of a thing. Right. So then, look, we've now probably got a much better connection. Yes, we've picked up these as well. It's still not great, but it's better. Um, right, so we want this to... Eventually, this will have to connect to Kerkrader because the whole idea is that we're going to get tools everywhere. But the first step, it's going to be expensive, is connecting it to this factory. And you know what? I am half of mind. Oh no, it doesn't need to connect to this factory. What am I talking about? I'm a tool. I am a tool. I mean, it needs to go to the tools factory, not to this factory. Um, hmm. Yes, okay. Well, you legend. Okay. Um, we are still just gonna run it. I don't really care about the streets at the moment, but we will show that later. Again, this is a uh, freight train, so it's not meant to be a fast running oopity doopity da train. We're gonna connect it there. Actually, that's a pretty nice connection. Quite happy with that. Are we going to keep it separate all the way to here? Tempted, yeah. Tempted. How much will that cost? Yes, I okay, think that's definite. Good. And then we've got a what's it there sign thingy. We're going to have too many trains on there. Are we. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a long run, but actually, who cares? That's fine. That solves a lot of issues. I think, anyway. I'm going to add the line in, just so I can visualize where the problems are. So we are going to do a new one, and we're going to call this Def. Uh -huh, it helps if you click the button. Def, uh, and then we need to do slash slash tools delivery. All right, so one supplies to the tool factory, and the other delivers from the tool factory. What does that look like? First problem we're going to get is we do now have two trains. Did I not add station? I didn't add station. We will now have two trains coming here. And that could be tricky. So I don't think there's going to be any issues here. No. And in fact, it's going around. Depends a bit on what sort of speed train you get. But it goes around the uh, plank supply. I have to think about these things too. I don't really want it to do that, so from Dave to um, I don't want it to interfere with the passengers. So it's gonna have to go to this one here. Yeah. Blue is passenger, green is freight. I will get there eventually. And it's got to go there. Yes. Then when it comes here, it has to stop, period. And the whatever train is in front has to drop off, come back and set off again. Now I could make a problem of that, but you know what? I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I just spotted another completely random signal. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't need to be there at all. 
in fact it's probably just causing us issues because we actually want a signal on this end. So now, do we want it there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A bit further away. For when we get longer trains, it can go and sit here. Because I want to be able to have a train sitting here and waiting. And I want another train sitting there and waiting. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I think that's it. I genuinely think that's it. All that it remains is that we need the train to start running. Now I'm not going to add another loop and everything for that. We are going to build it um, and it's good. So in the future, wouldn't it be lovely if we could send bricks back to Heru Gewaard? No, they're going to stay there. Something back to Heru Gewaard. I don't know what yet. But at the moment we have been adding a second train that's only running half full uh, a third train because the plank one is as well now so we're not efficient so I do need to be cheap with this train um, yes okay but it does have longer to run as well yes okay yeah I need to sit for here as well um, yeah so what are you proposing this one goes 90. I'm gonna have to add one, another one of these because it's gonna go on the same line. Um, yeah, and the difference is big enough. We don't have that many options. So, boxcar, boxcar, and that's it. I don't want to add more cost to this. So hopefully it will pick up enough tools each time to become profitable. And let's add another one. Um, three and a half. Three and a half. Actually we need to borrow three on the nose. Okay. Good, good. Now this, this is where things could already go wrong. I might have to rethink my whole economy after this one. But let's see what it does. We're going to keep the colors the same. And we're going to say that it's now part of the David the Tools Delivery Posse, which is smashing. Well, I hope it's not smashing, I hope it's delivering tool. Um, and it needs to wait before joining up. Oh, actually, am, are these lines running well? Yeah, you yeah. Okay. I don't need to signal the damn thing except for there. Wow, okay, you're a luxurious train, I'll tell you that. Right, okay, Turbo Booster, we're going to look at our new... It's quite a dinky train, we've seen this one all over the place. So we're not going to waste too much time following it. But I do want to see if it picks up tools and then if it makes profit. Um, and that would be very nice, that would be very nice. Because if we can make this one profitable then we're probably on to a winner. Uh, we can't make it profitable. I'm going to have to look at where we can save money. Oh, well, this is where the risk begins. So our debt is now 12 million. So it's still not enormous. I'm not worried about that, but I don't want it to go and, and spiral out of control. So yeah, I do need this train to actually make at least some money it would be very nice. I think there will be tools waiting. Yes, I want to stay. Oh. There's no tools waiting yet. Oh, there we go, one. Great. Hallelujah, we've got a tool. The problem, of course, is... You know what? You... Uh, go back. Um, uh, you know what? This whole line... Stop. You gonna get sold this is why you buy a very cheap vehicle and then I'm hoping this will somehow end up there I'll probably even delete the line yeah we can always build it back later ah it's gone so where's it gone it's just gone hasn't it it's just gone yeah it's just gone so I stopped the line and immediately boom 50 tools that could have been moved 
quite nicely with this little train are now not being moved. So we're not going to get a fair judgment of value. But I will only restart this particular connection, which isn't profitable at all. It didn't actually look, but it won't be profitable. Uh, we'll only restart that connection once this train is running full profit. Because that way, at least we know we are doing something right. Um, and having said that, let's have a look at our total economics. So on a yearly rate, our passenger train is making a million and our lock supply is making close to a million. So that's really positive. Our tool supply, which we build specifically to supply the uh, supply line, isn't doing that great. No, that could do with an extra wagon. Uh, nice vehicle. I'm immediately going to slap it on, but might as well. There we go. It's expensive, but it'll do. Because the more we can move, the bigger our profits are going to be. It's as simple as that. And I don't want stuff sitting here without the ability to move it because I need to be able to keep this train supplying this place and if this gets full then this place doesn't accept anything etc so yeah we need to make sure that that keeps going but uh, I just saw it whisked past I didn't see how much it made we can see here okay uh, okay 197k with how many tools was it six so if this does get, start picking up full loads uh, I might be overly optimistic, but that it doesn't sound like a bad position. So hopefully this will really fill up because it's just had a supply. It's half tempting to tell the tools train to wait here until it's at least got some supply in. Um, because at least then it doesn't run and cost money that way. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're not bankrupt yet. I, I sound like I'm basically gone. Uh, we're not. But what I have done here is put in risk into the system. And there's a risk that our profit margin is going to hurt if this supply from tools to uh, Deventer doesn't become rather profitable indeed. So we're doing all right. We've got 21 now. 22. I think there's a capacity of 36. Might be making an open tree, box cars. We'll see. There's the train. Picking up 27. Oh, it's only a capacity of 24. It's only a capacity of 24. Crikey. Okay, I don't know what's waiting for now. What, what are you waiting for? Waiting for free path. Why do you have free path? Ah, no, because there's no signals here. So it's definitely going to give way to the passenger train. Now in theory that's great, but you're supposed to be profitable. Uh, this is just the look of the uh, draw basically. I'm giving him free path now, but I don't actually want him to have free path all the time. So that's great, let's go. Wow! Why are you stopping now, though? You passed the signal, surely. That's not what I wanted. You're supposed to be my money maker. Here you can go now. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's got to wait for ages. So you even got to wait for the other one now as well. Possibly. I screwed that up, didn't I? I screwed that up. I don't know why you decided to wait for that signal. I clearly, clearly placed it beyond it. You know what? I'm actually even going to remove it. There's something wrong, in my opinion, with the way that it signals this uh, when it's going to and from a station. I don't quite understand what's going on there. Uh, but I do know I want that train to have free run. That's a nuisance, isn't it? Oh, there's a train failure. Um, I do have to think about this, though. Do I just put it really close? I think I will. I think that's the best solution. At least it doesn't have to wait for long. And then, you know those signals I removed where I say, oh, they don't need to be here. One needs to be there because it needs to clear the box that it's on. 
So we are going to have a signal. Uh, oh yeah, 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 I completely forgot about this, and that's stupid. We're putting three trains on, so we need to create sections of this tram. That trains can just keep running until they can run. And no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, in the excitement, I've completely missed the supply train. Get the elephant. I think I have. Good. Excitement. Yeah. Fixing a problem. Wow! You know what? Are we gonna dump this train full? I think we are. I think we are. I didn't think this would start from. Um, got the money for it. Screw you. We're gonna move all of those. Because at some point, it's actually gonna go to um, Kerkrade as well. Right. This time, we're actually gonna follow it. It's got a very nice load 45 total auto save I thought the game crashed in a second eh? I might have put one card too many on but it doesn't really matter does it? Ta -da -ta -da -da. choo 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 I don't know I've been playing around with the balance of the music by the way I'm listening to it now I've got it on very uh, not not high volume at all on my speakers um, so I can hear that there is music. I hope the balance is alright. It's really tricky with this game because some of these songs really pop as well. And I don't quite know what to do with that. I could just switch off, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I quite enjoy the music. Right, we're waiting for... Ah, have we found another bottleneck? Yeah, what are you waiting for here? Oh? That doesn't actually make sense, does it? You're waiting for this train here? First of all, why is that train how it's supposed to be? Oh, yes. Okay. That needs a, you can come out as well. It hasn't got it. So we need to put a stop there. Next to that one. Yeah. So the box here was completely taken by that train, which stopped this train that then had to wait all that distance, which is stuff that, you know, we do need to worry about. So, yeah. I don't know, I think I actually moved a lot of those things earlier on. Ah, yes, getting used to multiple trains on large tracks. This little sugar with all its all its very slow uh, cars. What are these called again? State cars, I think. I mean, it has got loads of them. Bless the little cotton socks. But oh, 80. I think it's got 20 cars on. Um, but the uh, simple fact is, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's making money. And it's making me happy. I was going to watch this train arrive. And I still didn't do it. I'm switching on the finances. Oh, but we hit the model load. Uh, yeah, I think we did. I think we got over a million for that. I am rather pleased with that. One of the things I would love in this game, and it's sort of geeky, uh, but I've always had an interest in accounting, and I would love to actually, you know, this stuff doesn't do enough for me. I would love to... Uh, click here and then see how many tickets are made on what wheel, which train and all that stuff and it's a bit there's a lot of detail here already but it's not quite it's not granular enough right when this says tickets 5,044,957 I would like to know which line in this case it's obvious but I would like to know which line contributed to that uh, what the price per kilometer was what the average speed was that's something else that we haven't got in the game at the moment at all. Like, uh, we have got, I don't know, this is track speeds limiter. Doesn't really help me. And uh, we've got the value of the land. Doesn't really help me. We've got navigable waters, contours, 
we've got destinations. Hey, we know where people are going, but I can't just add all sorts of other stuff. I've never really played with this before. I think this was Destinations David, right? I'm not sure. I will have to look that up at some point. Um, David. Is this everybody going to David? I think it might be. Nope. I haven't got a clue. Um, and then uh, cargo layer again. I'm not sure what the point is. Oh, look, we're transporting a lot of cargo on here. Yes, I'm well aware. Um, and then stations this I had to get used to this so one of the things I saw for example this station and I've talked about this I think in the first episode these um, forests or ore mines or coal mines or whatever they will keep chucking bloody lorries full of stuff at here and you could decide to pick it all up right but I've got a train with a capacity of 80 which is going to be doubled up at some point just don't be worried about that I don't know I'm running full speed. Um, but this has already got a capacity of 80. If I double this up to 160, I will roughly uh, meet, meet the supply on here. I can't remember where it's going. Um, but what's the point? Because then all that will happen. Well, I suppose it might help, and then I need more capacity here, and that will happen, and then I'll have more here, and then etc, etc. But it's it's not great. Street traffic layer, why traffic lights are here, and player owned is here, I don't know. Anybody can explain that to me, that would be great. If we can annoy the locals. Aha! Boom! Stop! Stop in the name of law. But well, why is here? I don't know. Anyway. Yes, because the longer you have to wait, the more likely you are to get on the train. Huh. And then emissions. Um, I said in the uh, in command off that this is something I've been working with a, a bit more. And I'm slowly getting the hang of it. So, for example, uh, and again, I didn't talk about it explicitly, but separating these stations, in particular the cargo line, means that I take away some of the pollution in Daventer. Having cargo outside of cities is always better. But then the danger is that you then have to uh, bring it in with trucks and things. And that's not great either, so it's always difficult. A couple of minutes? Sonny wants to know if we kill each other yet. No, no, there's no killing in this household. Um, so yeah, this is interesting. And I, I find it an interesting mechanic, but it's mainly for the later game. So yeah, I would love more granular detail. And I, there's, there's probably stuff in here that I just don't know about, which is absolutely fine. We are breaking it in, by the way. I'm going to repay the loan. Um, yeah, so there's stuff in here that I probably don't know about. And I, I'm, that's fine, you know, that's great. The deeper the game, the better the game played. The really nice thing about this... I say, that's very colourful. It is very colourful. Uh, the deeper the gameplay is, the better, you know, the longer I'll be engaged with it. So, episode 3, um, I think we could call this a success again. We are increasing our profit. Mm, are we? Oh, this is not yearly. This is half yearly, I think. Uh, yes. There's definitely an increase, isn't there? I think that's when we built everything. Yeah, that's bumped it up quite nicely. And um, we need to start thinking in episode 4 about what we want to do next. Now we have a number of options, but I um, I could just extend Daventer to Kerkrade for the um, what's it, so build another goods train that goes all the way here. I don't think it's quite worth it yet. I think what I need to do is to open up this construction materials plant. And that's gonna be interesting. I wouldn't like to walk over that hill. I know some people are all about hill walking, but I'm definitely not one of them. Um, but we are going to have to connect it to that, get that across, and then have to dump it here. And then, you know what? You know what? We might well end up delivering it here and making this our southern, because we are in the southwest, make this our southwestern cargo hub. Yeah, I think that's an excellent idea, and I think that's what we should be looking to do in uh, episode 4. Lay the foundations for our first cargo hub. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. That should be interesting. So my name is Dr. Klumber. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and do come back for more. If you like this, then if you didn't like it, then well, I don't care. Bye. Bye. Oh, you did it again, you idiot. You shouldn't tell people that you don't care.